Hey folks, Stan Baker with Hunt the Racket. Hey, I'm wishing you right now a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I gotta tell you, I'm really excited about this segment. Uh, we have a gentleman uh, and his dad who are gonna be our guests. His name is Logan Henry. And I think a lot of you guys probably know about him. He is probably one of the top five shooters in the United States right now. He's gonna be spending some time with us here at the Racket. And uh, we're gonna be doing some shooting together. He's gonna be able to share some ideas with you um, about how he approaches trap and uh, some of, maybe, maybe we'll get some of the secrets. Who knows? But, uh, so I'm really excited about that like for you to stay tuned. After that, we're gonna kick off, uh, we're gonna introduce you to the Team Racket. And uh, we're excited about that uh, deal. We're, we're still, um, tr still trying to figure out what the format will be for Team Racket, but we're, uh, Racket will be sponsoring uh, a team and uh, we'll be going into that um, a little bit. The other thing we're gonna cover is one-eyed shooters. Yours truly is now a one-eyed shooter. And we'll go over the trials and tribulations and what caused that. Logan happens to be a one-eyed shooter as well. So we're excited about that. We're gonna go over uh, you know, some of the things that he does to uh, counteract having to shoot with one eye and why he went into that. So we're really excited about that like for you to stay tuned and we'll see you at the rack. Folks, Stan Baker with Hunt the Racket, and do we have a treat for you today? We have Logan Henry. Logan, welcome nice to, to Racket. <laughs> and his dad, Ray. Ray, glad to be here. Real nice to see you. And welcome. They came all the way from Texarkana, 13 hour drive. Yes. <laughs> just to be at Racket. So we got a lot of good things. Uh, Logan is about to shoot around. I want you to keep an eye on his uh, fundamentals. Whoever taught him his fundamentals, they were very sound. I shot with him at the Grand two years ago, and I was very impressed with the way he approaches a bird, and his mount, gun mount is really good. So keep an eye on that. We're gonna have a lot of information. We're gonna be able to pick your brain, <laughs> young, young man. And we're gonna learn a lot of good things here. So stay tuned. We got a lot more coming at you at the rack. If you look at the hill, you have three layers. Uh -huh. You have the first layer here, second, third. Where's your eyes? Well, so see, I realized real quick that my timing when you're up there, you can abs I can shoot them quick enough to be in this black right here, yeah. but you can't see them, so you're yeah. gonna make bad moves. So realistically, you need to put your eyes to where you can track it, but you're shooting somewhere between where it gets you know, greenish there yeah. to the first hill. Right. Okay. So you're right. You got to bring it. You got to hold lower. You get your eye holds got to be lower. Uh -huh. Especially um, what happens is if you hold too high, your eye wants to grab something out there. Uh -huh. You see yuccas and all kinds of weird stuff. So if you can catch that bird 
a little lower uh -huh. and pick up on it and swing through it, you're better off. Yeah. Um, That's kind of what I, I don't know. I was out there and I was, you know what I mean, when you first get to a you place, Brit, you're frantic. When, yeah. When Britt first got here, he shot 100. He had shot 100 singles and shot at 89. Really? And then, Holy crap. and then the second time, he went straight. So he, fig he, he made he, the adjustment. Yeah, he figured it out. And it's the same way for me at handicap. I hold, I put my eye right on the edge of the house, and when I see the bird, I make my move. To yeah, it. I see what you're saying because sometimes it was kind of like I was picking it. I was picking it up so light that my timing. I was trying to shoot it on time, but I just wasn't. I was never even starting a move almost right. by the time I was trying to pull the trigger and I, you know, so I definitely wasn't tracking it, you know what I mean? Right, so it's deceiving because you think that hill isn't that high, uh -huh. but it is. So, you know, you're just, I mean, it's, you know, the, where that dirt is right there on that ridge, uh -huh. that's about where your eyes should be, you know. Um, if you go any higher, it's, you're gonna. You're gonna pick it up. Yeah, and 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 okay. So if you're wide open, you can come back to the bird. Okay, folks, we just got done shooting a few birds. <laughs> so what do you guys think? That was awesome. that was, was that, awesome. Was that fun? Oh, yeah. Is that the first time you've ever shot chuckers before? That's, That's the first I'm time sure. I have. Yeah. I mean, they come. I mean, th that there's one bird that you shot. <laughs> I would say I, I would say that's a little bit overkill. Yeah, I, I hammered him a little bit too hard. And, and then the second shot was way overkill. I got him good the first time, but then the second shot, ooh. Yeah, he folded. He's, you shot. That's why we don't give him two shells. Anymore. That's right, man. I mean, you could keep that gun away from him. But he he folded. The bird got up and he shot it. It folded and it was fall and I saw another boom puff <laughs> and I puffed him again I mean so, I kind of like a little meat with my BBs, yeah you know, so. but uh Papa you did pretty good there Ray you shot that first bird yeah he hammered yeah, the first bird he yeah he, shoot the first one. well I could I could tell you were you're were pretty much thinking stay in the process stay in the moment stay in the right moment. absolutely and you really hammered that bird and you know our dog did some really oh, good really work. Really good work. <laughs> Billy, the cameraman, he uh, he's got a a lab. My name is Denali. Um, he used to be a guide up here, and uh, you got Denali as a puppy, in. and and uh, that dog has really come along. Uh, he's done a, a great job. So we've we've had a, a good time here the last couple of days, but. I wanted to go over uh, that one eye again because I just started shooting one eye. And I think we need to talk about that. And um, so tell me a, some, a little something about, you're a one-eyed shooter. Mm -hmm. So tell me something about that. How did that start for you? Um, so basically it started out whenever I was first starting to shoot, what, probably 13, 12 or 13 years. Well, no. Um, Chris Townsend was the first one to show us to use tape. Yeah. So I was at the range one day and I lit, I described to one of the guys who it actually, you know, shoots a little more ATA trap, kind of what I was seeing. I was like, I'm seeing two gun barrels. I don't, I don't really know which one to pick, mm -hmm. which, you know, mine's an extreme case of, of cross, cross-eyed. But, and then he was like, okay. He said, here you go. He said, here's some scotch tape. And he said, just stick it on there. Well. That that worked, and you know, since then I've learned a whole lot about it. You know, mm -hmm. okay, well, I'm gonna back this up just a little bit, okay? The, he's he's right-handed. He's done everything right-handed. That's right. The, that the, is the, the Daisy Red Rider BB gun. gun. When he picked it up for the first time ever, yeah. he put it on the left shoulder, and I said, "You got your, you know." I'd try to change him. And yeah. He shot everything he shot. It had to be left-handed, and I didn't understand. And then someone told me, and I said, he's, he's left-eyed dominant, you know. I said, what, what is that? What, what do you mean? And even the, even the book that, you know, we, 
ex started explaining it and we learned more and then right. that's when we went and then somebody said hey i'm the same way and and showed him the tape and mm -hmm. everything but he was naturally that's what he wanted to do you know and, and, and like i say he's Pretty not amazing. he's not left-handed but you're yeah. left eye dominant. Yes. And and he wants to. So shoot. you just naturally went picked up a gun, and he would try to stop me with my BB gun. He'd, yeah. you know, he took me out and he'd just free rein me in the yard. You know, here's five cans, go bust them up. You know, yeah. and he'd come out there and you're you're shooting with the wrong hand. And I said, and he, I'd literally, I'd change over to the right hand while he was out there, and then as soon as he'd walk in, I'd yeah. right back to the left yeah. hand. Yeah. <laughs> And yet, that's all you do is shoot left-handed. I do, yeah. Shoot a, a bow. Any gun is left-handed, but that well, is it. I write right, right-handed. Oh, is involved with the aiming. And, and you, you, you play baseball. Hand. Were you a pitcher? Mm -hmm. Yes. You threw right-handed. Right-handed. That's what <laughs> you hit. Hit right-handed. Yes. You, could you hit left? I could not. I have very little left-hand coordination. Wow. That that's that is really strange. But if you're left hand, I mean, it's good for you that you started out like that. Yeah. But, you know, you know since then, <laughs> there's been a lot of learning. You know, as I grow or as people grow, their tape will need to change. Sometimes mm -hmm. you can, um, it just depends. There's, depending on how bad yours is, I've seen people that use, you know, one of the little dots. Yeah. And that works for them. Me personally, I have a pretty big size piece of tape, but my eye tends to want to look around the tape if I have a small piece of tape, you yeah, know what so I mean? Need a big... So I use a big piece of tape, but there's also, you know, there's different variations. You can use dots, you can use tape, you can close your eyes have like you, you do. Have you tried the screens? I have not tried the screens, I'm gonna show but I've, you. I've, I've seen some people screens. that were very successful with the screens. Yeah. That's another, another option for I've, that. I've tried the screens and they were fine, but I get a headache. I mean, uh, and the only thing that I can think that I'm doing is that my eye is trying to go through that tape. I mean, it's, it wants to, to see, you know. Exactly. That's, yeah, and that's why I was saying I need to, that's why I think I might have struggles with them too, is because my eye fights very hard to try to get in there. Yeah. And it's, yeah. I, you know, I found that just closing that left eye just seems to work pretty darn good. It does, I mean, that's the easy, I mean, honestly, yeah. That's the easiest method. I just wanted a little bit of side little, vision yeah, to be able to help more. me out. You yeah. know what I mean? And it does, I, I could see uh, shooting one eye is a little different in doubles. And you know, that, that left bird, you know, when you're going shooting yeah. right to, and then going left on the, You've got to take on your the time. second bird, it's, it's almost, you know, and I try, uh, hit the bird, uh, the first one pretty quick. And then you go over there and I'm just, you know, I do the dip and I'm just coming up on the bird just as it's almost ready as to drop. As it's almost peaking. It's a good feeling, it's good timing. Um, but I, you know, I, th I keep thinking, well, maybe if I can hit that first bird quicker, but yeah, I mean, I'm hitting it as, you know, I mean, as, the way I should. Is, yeah, if I go any quicker, fast. then I'm just gonna, the timing is totally off, you know? Yeah, I kind of also wanted to also present the, more of the facts along with it, that you know, if you're a lady shooter, mm -hmm. that statistically you're 80%, you have an 80% possibility of having a cross-eyed dominancy. And then it's something like down in the 20, only 20% 20 of men have it. However, like we've talked about, it can show up in a lot of different spots. It can show up in the middle of a round. Yeah. Another thing that I think I didn't say before was, uh, according, if you talk to Phil Connor, he also says, you know, like one time in Oklahoma, I remember I was, I ran the first three boxes in the handicap and I got nervous and I went into the last box and I dropped the first four out and I could not, visually I could not, like I was doing the same thing, everything. And I feel Connor says that whenever you get under a lot of stress, that you tend to, your eyes will start crossing worse. Oh, is that right? Yes. Mm. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. I've done that with handicapped especially. And because I don't know, I mean, maybe I get a little more tense or a little, little more nervous or what, what, 
what have you. And another thing about uh, <coughs> I don't see is in young shooters, you know, as coaching school kids and everything, uh, I don't see can change along about puberty time and all that. They can it can literally go from one eye to from the other, other. Yeah. and you can you know you go from everything's going great to like the wheels have fell off and. I don't know what's happened. Exactly. And you need to recheck the eye dominancy, and that's one thing. Well, the, <clears throat> you know, I had my eyes checked, and both eyes are okay. And, but the, it's the weirdest feeling. Um, you know, I'll see the bird. If both eyes are open, I'll see the bird, hit the, you know, go to the bird and shoot. And I see, then all of a sudden, I don't see the bird. And it's I don't I don't think I'm looking at my bead. I can't say that I'm I'm seeing my bead. It's just I'm not seeing the bird. Yes, yeah. So that's what's weird about is it about it is it can show up as see mine is was if I would have known older trap shooters, mine was the telltale. I mean, it's right there in front of you. You mount your gun and I see sometimes see, two ribs but yeah. i also see completely down the side of the, the, gun. Side of the gun i can wow. i see the side of the gun better than i do actually down the, then, then then down the barrel yeah. yes and it's also if i shoot left-handed or right-handed i can i picked up the gun right-handed and it's the same same exact result but you also have the people who one way i tell whenever i'm like coaching somebody is whenever they make a move to a target you're gonna start off making a move like an S. Yeah. And that's an instant telltale that somebody's and what crossfire. What causes that? They're hunting for the target. Yes. So your you, eyes. So you just, you're, you're trying, you know you're doing it, so you, you just correct? Yes, your eyes are trying to fight, so your eyes are, you're going from one eye to the other, mm -hmm. and it's causing you to. You've never been able to find a clear whole target. That, that makes sense. That, that really makes sense. But, you know, for me, you know, I picked it up and it's, it, it happened every now and then. And then it started happening more and more and more. Mm -hmm. And then finally, I just, you know, I went to a screen, went to the, the, the blinders, you know, the, on, the, on the rib and uh, couldn't keep the blinder on. It kept popping off. And uh, so it may have been the way I put it on, but you know, I, I cleaned it and did everything, um, but I have those, uh, the, the Wilkinson barrels. So, you know, there's a lot of heat and yes. stuff coming out of there. So I'd get through about three fourths of the round and that thing would go bing and just jump, you know, pop right off. So um, I might get one that screws into the mm -hmm. side, you know. Um, and, you know, I think that's, that's also a solution to, to you know, cross firing. And I know a lot of people that are really excellent all American shooters that don't really cross fire, but they've mm -hmm. got one on it because, you know, we've talked about it. It can Can't slip hurt. into anybody at every time. And if it pops in one out of 500, I mean, yeah. we're in a game where we're trying to be perfect and, right. you know, we can't afford any losses. <laughs> yeah, one can make a big difference, Absolutely. especially in the class you're shooting, you know. One doesn't make a whole lot of difference for <laughs> where I'm at. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it definitely means something, you know, for you to miss, you know, one. But anyway, we had a great time here. I mean, I, I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed meeting you, Ray. And, I've enjoyed it. And, and how, how uh, you know, I really feel honored that I, I've I've been able to spend some time with you guys and get to know you a lot better. I think we're going to know each other a lot I think better. So too. You know, this team, that, what I want to do is I want to make sure that, you know, once we establish the team, that this is a place for future Hall of Famers to come and train. Hey, and I'd be willing to tell anybody. This is an absolute paradise because from me being here right now, once you get here, you do not want to leave. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's pretty hard to get here. So you, <laughs> That's you don't, true, you too. Don't, you, don't, you, don't, you, don't want to get, you don't want to have to go back down that damn road. Yeah. But, you know, that's, that's for sure. So, but uh, now, um, we're, you know, we're, we're real happy about this place up here and we've designed it so 
Um, I love to practice, and I love to, uh, I love to problem solve, and I, and I love to help people problem solve. And although I'm not the world's best trap shooter, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a real student of the sport. So a lot of times I can watch someone shoot and I, I know what they're doing mm -hmm. wrong. And um, when I can't, then what I try to do is get someone who knows uh, what they're doing and, and help that individual. But what we're gonna be able to do is uh, we're gonna be able to, if you come for a clinic here at the racket, we, we have the Garmin, we have the shot cam, so we can put a, uh, you know, a camera on your barrel. Billy, you, you see how Billy does the shots away from the, the shooter? In slow-mo, he's able to capture a lot, of your, a lot of your swing and your fundamentals so that if one of these gentlemen, let's say Britt or yourself or maybe uh, Ricky isn't here, I'll be able to take that, that video and send it to them, all three of them, and if they all say the same thing, and we verify it, then we'll get back to you and, and you'll be able to fix it. So the, those are some of the things that we wanna do, but we also wanna encourage the team members any time to come up here and train, you know? So um, I think that's important. You know, I'm a, I'm a big believer in shoot, 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 mm -hmm. practice, practice, you know? So, is there anything else you want to share with us, my friend? Um, just, it's a wonderful place up here. I think this is going to be a good program. And I, I'm looking forward to helping everybody and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm being very, on the team. Very excited. And one of the best things about it is I get to shoot with you. <laughs> so, not good for you, but good for me. Hey, right? we have a good time <laughs> when we shoot together. <laughs> Well, we've had a good time here. We've been out, and of course, about the time we wanted to shoot some birds, we, it started snowing up here. So the weather never is predictable um, in this part of the country. But uh, again, I, I, I feel really honored that I could spend some time with you. And we really appreciate you watching the videos. And, you know, I love your replies. I mean, they're, most of them, for the most part, are very... <laughs> very positive every now and then we get uh, we get a, a, a negative review but that's okay you know I, I take criticism pretty well so hey we've had a great time and we look forward to the next video and the next interview so you stay tuned and we'll see you at Hunter Racket